Right now we are live on Twitch, and uh, I'm about to tell a story. Everybody in chat. Everybody in chat, say hi. You're on YouTube right now. So, okay, here we go. This story may not necessarily be PG, but uh, I'm going to try my best to make it as PG as possible, even though there may be a certain type of club involved and money that gets thrown at a certain type of uh, uh, professional dancer. Let's just put it like that. Uh, so this story is about my friend Moth, is going to be the name that we give him because we want to we wanna protect him because he's glorious. And uh, this is actually quite funny. So Moth... Moth grew up in Florida. Um, it's heavily, heavily Spanish. I don't know what his actual ethnic, uh, 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 eth 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 ethnicity is. Thank you. I don't know what it actually is, but um, like specifically, could be. It's he's he's Spanish though. He totally speaks Spanish. Um, and uh, he's into fast cars that make loud noise. They go vroom vroom brr and uh, I, I don't know. He's a tip, you know, loud loud music in the car. Like he's. Spanish AF. I don't know what else to say it. He's he's uh he's nailing it. So beautiful thing about Spanish is uh they're really big on hygiene, as as moth always was. So moth always smelled good, always looked fresh, like always dressed very well. And this particular story takes place on one of his birthdays that I didn't know him for. He wound up telling me and my buddies this story. When we were all hanging out one day, and uh, this is the first time I'd ever heard this, so I'm gonna do my best to try and repeat it as accurately as possible. So, it's Moth's birthday. Moth, looking as fresh as he is, gets a call from his buddies at the time in Florida that they want to go to a special gathering in which many members of the female community would dance to have cheddar thrown at their loins. I don't know how to word this. Anyway, we're avoiding demonetization as best as possible. <laughs> Just watch, look, should we dab on this? We're gonna avoid it as best as possible. So, uh, if we were on, if I wasn't recording this for YouTube, I could make it as dirty as I want for the most part. Anyway, so, his buddies call him up in Florida, and they're like, yeah, we're gonna go out tonight, we're gonna hit some dinner and all that sort of stuff. What they didn't tell him was, was that after they were gonna do their typical night out, which is like, you know, grab food, go to the club, that they were gonna go to another club that had dancing. So, Moth wasn't necessarily fully prepared for this, because what wound up happening was, is he's like, all right, yeah, no doubt, you know, he gets, he gets showered, he gets ready, puts, throws his cologne on, gets himself all nice and fresh, and he winds up, he winds up meeting up with his friends, and they decide to tell him, because I guess somebody took a while to get ready, kind of like took too long. They're like, yeah, we're just gonna skip dinner and, uh, and the club, and we're just gonna go right out to the dance. And we're gonna go right to the dancing place. Where, where dancing will be had. So, I guess they like, I'm pretty sure you said he like pre-games before they went out, because, you know, drinks be expensive at certain places, so it's just a thing you do. So they pre-games before they went out, they get to the dancing place, and while they're there, one of his friends tells somebody that works there that like, tells, tells one of the dancers like, hey, it's this guy's birthday, do you do anything like special for birthdays and stuff like that? And, uh, and they're like, oh yeah, no problem, we, we got you. Yeah, yeah, we could we could totally do something for him. So about like half an hour into dancing, um, and then just you know being there, hanging out, having fun, moth smelling good, looking fresh. One of the one of the girls gets on an announcer, like the PA system, and goes, "And we have a special birthday in the house. You know what that means? Will moth in the crowd please stand up?" So he gets up, right? Um, it's two beautiful girls come up to him and start uh, grabbing him up on stage, right? So they wind up getting him on stage. They get a chair for him and they put the chair down with like a pole behind the chair. So now he's sitting in the chair. They then take handcuffs and they cuff him like, I guess like to the pole. So like now he's not going anywhere. As they start to dance around him, when they dance around him, 
they pull out things that I'm going to rename so that this makes sense and it's friendly. They pull out official size school rulers. They pull out feather dusters with tiny feathers on them. More like the feathers might have been more so made out of leather. And they pull out ping pong paddles because I guess there's a ping pong table there. Just don't worry about it. They pulled these things out with him tied to the pole. As they're dancing around the birthday boy, one of the dancers realizes that they're in Florida. And I'm totally make, I'm totally, remember, I'm totally telling this story for YouTube safety. Again, like I realize this is still like adult content. I get it. But at the same time, we're just cleaning it up. Don't worry about it. One of the girls decides that she's go. one of the girls realizes, oh my God, it is Florida. And Moth, you must be sweating balls. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna make it a little bit more comfortable for you in here. So while he's tied to the pole, they stand him up out of the chair. And like a nurse that had practiced this for years, with all due respect, lowered his pants he was clothed underneath, but lowered his pants so that they could apply appropriately said feather duster, ruler, and ping pong paddle in a manner that would be more appreciated by our birthday boy, Moth. So, one thing you guys have to understand about Moth is that he was the MacGyver of hygiene. When I say that, I must let you know that as the MacGyver of hygiene, because it is Florida that he was living in, and the term sweating balls probably did come from that place, I have to assure you that this MacGyver of hygiene was 100% on top of the future. He planned the future not realizing he'd be going to a dance, but he planned the future and said, you know what? If I'm going to be dancing, I'm going to make sure that a certain part of my body doesn't sweat profusely. So I'm going to apply baby powder to it because as many of you know, baby powder absorbs the sweating. So while Moth is now tied to this pole, and he's getting danced around. You are here on a yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, thank you, Hades with the sub. Hades, thank you for the sub, man. I appreciate the hell out of you. Thank you for that. While he is getting danced around by these professionals, absolute professionals, they decide to start testing out the equipment that they had brought on Moth because it's his birthday and that's what you do. So, they back up behind him with the paddles. They wind up, and he's enjoying it. You know, he's totally, he's having a good time. He's like, yeah, it's my birthday. This is nice. You know what? Like, oh, look, I've never been so danced for professionally like this before. He was really enjoying himself. So he's drunk, having a good time. They wind up getting behind him, winding up with the paddles, and they just slap away. They just... They hit his ping pong butt, his ping pong ball butt. In doing so, an incredibly large amount of white powder, baby powder, found its way through the underwear he was wearing and kind of filled the very dark lit but neon colored dance club for everyone there to see. It it was a dust explosion, Slender. That's exactly what it was. So What's up, they start doing this. And I guess think it's pretty funny. His friends are dying. His friends are absolutely dying because the look on his face now as he sees this smoke and the word I want to use starts with an E, but I can't use that word. It means to very quickly escape the confines of the area that it was limited to, starting with an E. 
But as this smoke decided to E-word out of his pants, he's basically like an old guy. But like, as this smoke decided to like, find itself outside from the paddling that was going on, he's turning bright red. As I would imagine anybody would. His friends are dying laughing. And the girls that were dancing are finding this equally as funny. So they're taking it for whatever reason as he just more. They're taking it as more and probably beat him to the point. I mean, gently, of course. They, they ever so softly helped alleviate, I guess, the smoke. I don't know. It was, I don't know how to explain this. They basically kept smacking him until there was no more smoke. That's all I'm getting at. And that concludes Moth's birthday extravaganza. Embarrassing birthday extravaganza at the elegant dance club that he had went to. So if you guys ever want to see something incredibly hilarious, make sure to find a reason to have your friends baby powder themselves and then secretly take them into a dance club where you're going to tell the people there that it is their birthday. Because amazing things could potentially happen from that. Anyway, this is Neo on YouTube. Thank, I mean, this is Neo on Twitch. Thank you everybody for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, leave a like. Let me know if you want to see more videos or more videos from my stream or stories like this in the comments down below. I'm live every day on Twitch. I will see you guys there. Love yous!